Hi everybody, my name is Harriet Moncaster and I am the author and illustrator of the Isadora Moon books. Isadora Moon is a little girl who is half vampire, half fairy and there are currently almost 12 books in the series. Recently, I'm very excited because um, there's a new series that's just come out, written by me, called Mirabelle. And Mirabelle is Isadora Moon's cousin and she features in some of the Isadora Moon books. And she is half fairy, half witch, and she is very mischievous. So I thought um, in this video I would show you how to do a couple of drawings um, from Isadora Moon and then at the end I will do a short reading from the new book um, Mirabelle Gets Up to Mischief. I thought we could start by drawing Pink Rabbit. So when I draw Pink Rabbit from Isadora Moon I would draw start by drawing an egg shape with a little gap just left at the back like that. Then I would draw the ear like that coming out from the gap and then you can put the other ear just behind that one. Then Pink Rabbit has black and white stripes in his ear so I would put that in and um, I'm going to do his face so he's going to be skipping along happily so I'm going to do a nice closed eye like that and a smile. Okay now um, I'll draw his arm. Now his arm is sort of like a sausage shape really so I do that coming out from underneath his neck like that and he has stitching in his arm so I'll just pop that on and then you can draw his tummy so his tummy is a sort of round half a circle sort of coming out from underneath his neck and his thighs are actually pretty much circles so I'm going to draw a big circle there joining up to that line with again with a little gap in it because the gap is where you then can just draw the little foot kicking out and again you can put some stitching going on there. Now um, you can join up his back so you can just do a line there with a nice fluffy tail and then you can do his front leg so this time what bleh, this time do half a circle like that again with a little gap left there because you can do the little foot just sticking out at the front and then um, his other arm you can do that coming out from behind again which is a, another sausage shape like that and there we have pink rabbit and I always like to put a shadow under my drawings so I'm going to just do a little shadow there and there we have pink rabbit hopping along happily okay so now I thought we could draw the bat from Isadora Moon so I will draw the bat just here so to do a bat I would start by doing a circle and then I would do um, oh another circle more of a squashed one underneath it so it looks almost like the number eight at the moment actually I might put this in the middle so you can see it better I'm trying to navigate this camera there we are that's a bit better okay so now I'm going to do one la two lines curving outwards from the bottom squashed circle so it looks sort of like a snowman at the moment and then two lines curving down those are the tops of the wings and then I'm going to do two pointed ears so two triangles on top of the head and then you can join up these wings with sort of arch shapes like this 
or sort of scalloped edges and then you can do lines in the wings and then I'm going to do two little feet and then I'm going to do I'm going to do eyes open for this one so I'm going to do two circles and then I'm going to do the little pupil I'm going to do my back looking in this direction and then a nice smile and two little fangs and if you want to make your bat look mischievous all you have to do is to two little downwards eyebrows and there you have a little mischievous bat and also I'm going to put a little tuft of hair so there we go there is pink rabbit and a bat from Isadora Moon now I um, thought I would do a short reading from Mirabelle Gets Up to Mischief. No witchy magic, said Dad, wagging his finger at me. It was Saturday morning and we were all in the dining room together, having breakfast. Me, my mum, my dad and my brother Wilbur. Remember, said Dad, this is a fairy celebration, the most important one in the whole year. I don't want to see any of your witchy things at the midsummer dance tonight. No cauldrons, no potion bottles, no pointy witch or wizard hats. No cauldrons, I gasped, but I always take my travelling potion kit with me wherever I go. I know, said Dad, and it always seems to cause a lot of mischief. Mischief, I said, trying to look surprised. Yes, said Dad. And I don't want any naughtiness at the Midsummer's Ball this year. You must embrace your fairy side for the night. Why don't you dust off your fairy wand? I never see you using it. That's because it's rubbish, I complained. It only does boring magic. Dad raised his eyebrows at me and his fairy wings fluttered in annoyance. I had almost said good magic, but stopped myself just in time. Dad's right, chipped in Mum. You and Wilbur must embrace your fairy side for the night. She smiled at us with her dark purple lips. You are both half fairy after all. Wilbur sighed. He hated being reminded that he's half fairy. He finds it embarrassing and would rather uh, be full wizard. I don't mind so much. It can be useful for getting out of trouble. People never expect fairies to be naughty. We will all do our best to be as fairy as possible for Dad, said Mum, and I stared at her in surprise. Mum is a full-blown witch, and I could never imagine her trying to be a fairy. She loves whisking about on her broomstick and cackling and making potions. Sometimes she can even be quite mischievous too. That's settled then, said Dad. He took a sip of his flower nectar tea and looked at us all happily over the rim of the mug. Mum crunched down on her spider-sprinkled toast. I looked back at them and thought how happy it would make Dad if Wilbur, Mum and I embraced our fairy sides for the night. I decided that I would try my absolute best to be good. No potions, no cauldrons and no pointed hats. So there you go. There's a short extract from Mirabelle Gets Up to Mischief. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video today um, and um, love, magic and sparkle to everybody. Bye!